I just love the feeling of clean skin, don't you? Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Precious. I'm wrapping up a very long day and thought to share with you my favorite way to end my evening. But first, let me acknowledge those who are new. Okay, this is who I am. Great to have you here. My motto is to be on purpose because it is so. Now that we're acquainted, let's get ready for bed. I'm moving my hair and accessories completely out of the way, making sure that my hair is tied back and away from my face. I've also switched into something I don't mind getting wet. Primarily, I will be using oils to remove my makeup. I have an oil-based liquid cleanser. I'll be using a thinner oil to help remove stubborn pigments and adhesives. And later on, I'll be using an oil-based cream so that I don't have to work so hard at removing this makeup. Clean hands are definitely the best hands to touch your skin. Beginning with my eyes, I'm using the vitamin E oil on my lash line. This gently breaks down the adhesive, and on my lips, it helps to break down the pigment. I'm warming up the cleanser in my hand and I like to allow it to sit just a little bit after I massage it in. This oil-based cream that I'm using starts out very, very thick. The consistency then melts down to an oil as I work the product into my skin. I'm warming up the microfiber cloth with warm water as I take off my lashes. The softness of this microfiber cloth combined with the warm water makes my makeup glide right off. Going back in with the Desert Essence oil-based cleanser, it has evening primrose, argan oil, aloe vera, jojoba oil, white tea leaf extract with no sulfates, it's gluten free and also vegan. One more time for good measure. Ryan <laughs> My skin isn't completely clean until I've used a sonic cleanser. I talk about this Zylon silicone facial tool in my Amazon unboxing beauty gadgets video. This cleanser is the Andalou Naturals Citrus Kombucha Non-GMO Cleansing Gel to help clarify my pores. This one was featured in my Amazon skincare haul. Both videos will be linked in the description box below. If you're wondering if the silicone tool is worth it, I enjoy it. I'm not scratching the surface of my skin, creating micro tears. It's easy for me to keep bacteria free. And one charge for me with daily use lasts about nine months. The mask I'm using is the Moroccan Red Mud Mask
It starts off as a powder. My recipe will be linked down in the description box, but I use this mud because it is softer and much gentler on my sensitive skin. These cellulose sponges help to grip the mud mask and remove it clean from my skin. They are part of a mask toolkit by EcoTools. I've toned with the Andalou Naturals Willow Bark Toner making sure that there's no makeup in my hairline. This toner is in the same line as the cleanser that I used earlier. The serum I'm applying is the Vitamin C Plus Ferulic Acid Serum by Advanced Clinicals. Also by Advanced Clinicals is the Rose Water Sleeping Mask and I'm applying this all over my face and neck. It has Bulgarian rose oil and blueberry extract to hydrate my skin. I'll allow this to dry down on my skin a little bit before going to bed. Now, my skin feels clean and refreshed. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.